Hey y'all, what's good? It's Jada, the girl who likes to rip her edges out for your entertainment. Yes, I'm back and I have slayed my little edges today, the ones I could find. One of my subscribers, shout out to you, I'll be listing your comment right here. She suggested that I tried out recreating professional makeup um, artist videos. I chose to recreate the Hindash signature look makeup video today. Now he's a professional and he has the professional quaint and professional products. So I, ga I gathered all the drugstore affordable and boxy charm products i could find and i'm gonna try and recreate his signature look hopefully it comes out close to at or as flawless as you guys can see my skin is going through it right now it's the fact that you can't ever be good for me for skin prep i'm going to be starting with the codely beauty elixir spray i love using this uh, <laughs> he uses a spray um i have nyx so Okay, good. Moisturizer, I'm using the Umbreolise Moisturizer. Concentrate. I love using this, it's like a primer. It's like a moisturizer and a primer in one. I've used this a couple of times on myself. I'm a bit too oily for it. I get a bit shiny throughout the day if I'm wearing this, but it's beautiful. I'll still wear it if my skin's feeling really tight or after I've been out in the sun. And it just really makes Rub up, skin. not down. What do you, up, not down. So you get wrinkles that way. And massaging it in as usual, just to get her skin ready for makeup. And for an under eye cream, I'm using okay. the Italy Premier Cream. Hold on! Hold on! I have Pharmacy. Oh, by the way, my moisturizer was the um, sleep recovering mask. Guys, it's really moisturizing. That's why I used it. It's for sleeping, though. I'm going to use Sephora Beauty Amplifier. Look. Oh. He said to apply it on the high points of your face, and he's fancy. He uses a brush. I'm gonna use my fingers. Ooh, do you guys see that? Look how nicely that looks. Oh, oh my God! Look at that glow. Oh, Nick, stay matte but not flat. And this is in shade Deep Golden. Oh, I hate doing this. And he just goes in. It's stunning. And again, I'm mixing that with the NARS Super Radiant Booster. He mixed this with the with the Illuminator. Why am I not listening? Usual building it up. And that Super Radiant Booster mixed in with the foundation is such a perfect combo. Okay, so... So this just intensifies... I've it. wasted my product. Makeup Forever Ultra... <sighs> I look healthy. I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This is the new one. And this is in the shade 33. Okay, so now he's using some concealer that is more expensive than my, than my entire makeup put together. So, I have these two Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealers. I think I'm going to use caramel for this because this looks close to her skin tone. Um, so he puts it... Just her skin tone pretty much exactly. I'm going to be going in with another shade to brighten after. And because I don't want to use a lot of powder in this look, I'm going for a more self-setting concealer. So this concealer actually works great on its own. But I am going to powder it a bit under the eyes. So I don't have a beauty blender anymore. I threw those out. Okay, blending in pretty decent. Not bad, not bad. Wow, my skin looks pretty good. Just Ooh, lighter shade. And I'm placing it very strategically in areas that would get darker or that are a bit more sunken in. Oh yeah, thank you, sir. So basically using it as a highlight. Thank and you, again, sir. Okay, so this is my highlight, and it's the shade Golden in the Maybelline uh, Rewind Concealer. Ooh, right here. Ooh, that's cute. I've never done that. <laughs> and making sure I'm not really rubbing, I just want to tap it and keep it in place because I want that brightness to stay there. I'm using a brush. This brush is actually a brightening brush from... I don't know what this is. I got it in my BoxyCharm, but it looks like this, like a tapered brush. By the way, the brush I used for my foundation is a Morphe M406 brush. It's a stippling brush. And what I use for under my eyes is a Morphe 4 M135 brush. Looks like this. I love it for under the eyes. So I'm going to be setting under my eyes with the... I believe this is a Ciate Coconut Setting Powder. Also got this in BoxyCharm. It's uh, definitely translucent. I love it. It's my favorite powder. Ooh. 
Get really lightly setting the under eyes. I have been loving using the Too Faced for this week. We're not setting the rest of the face? This is the super cover. Y'all, he's not setting the rest of the face. Okay, I trust him. I trust him. I'm gonna be using a pretty vulgar concealer in the shade Midnight Mystique. And it is gonna be my bronzing cream shade since he's still on the cream step. And I'm gonna be honest guys, I normally just go in with foundation, concealer, set my whole face and move on to powders. I don't really focus on cream or uh, liquids for everything. So this is kind of different for me, uh, but let's see where it takes us. And these actually look beautiful as foundation so you can use them all over the skin as foundation. I'm so nervous. I've never done this before. All right, now I'm gonna try and blend this out. Where did the product go? Okay, I need more. I need more. Okay, maybe this is better. Let's see. Y'all, the found the product vanished. It literally vanished. Okay, do you see it? Get Dora to find this. More beautifully. Make sure to get into the hairline really well so you don't see any marks. Let's do this. I use this all the time now. So I really want to pick up more of their color. Okay, he's using a cream blush. Ugh. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to be using the Laura Giller uh, Multitasking Eye and the Lip Cheek Set. They do have this blush shade hopefully it shows up on my skin okay i don't see anything and again i'm taking my foundation brush and stippling it into the product and then buffing it and stippling it onto the cheeks to keep that color concentrated and then just diffusing it out and as you can see it really works beautifully with that bronzy contour we did and the highlights in the kit Okay, not bad. As you guys can see, this is the first time I'm actually using this product. Cheekbones on the top of the nose, keep its bow, chin, all over. <laughs> okay, when are we getting to brows, sir? Oh, okay. So I'm going to be taking this Hourglass uh, brow pencil, um, and it is in the shade warm brunette it's so beautiful as you guys can see i actually don't have any brows so i actually need this i always like to set my brows with a brow powder and i'm taking the anastasia okay he's setting the brows what okay so um i'm gonna take my tart palette set my brows as an all over powder i'm taking the hourglass veil powder and the loose one okay so he's setting the whole face he's setting the whole face and he took a loose powder it looks kind of translucent i'm just going to take my the same powder i used before and i'm going to take a big fluffy brush I have never set my entire face with this product, so this is new. Okay, so he has a the matte and metal melted shadows, and this is the double pump latte shade, which I love. I love the matte shades in these, and I'm just placing. Okay, so I don't have that, but I do have concealer. I'm gonna use the same concealer in caramel to do my eyes because I do not have that. <laughs> I don't have it. I don't, okay? I think I find it really interesting um, what he does and the order he does it in because I would never do anything in this order or use half the things I've used today. Okay, it looked like he used a semi darker color than her actual skin, and I'm gonna be real with y'all. Um, I don't have that product. And I don't have a darker concealer because I get stuff that match my skin, if you get what I'm saying. And now probably my favorite makeup product ever, the NARS Mambo Eyeliner Pencil. I use this in every video. Okay, so he's taking a dark brown product and I have a dark brown 
pencil. So I'm going to be using that in the same area. Are we setting? It looks like his his product dried down. So I'm going to set this because if it moves, I am going to scream. Okay, so he's fancy. He uses a brush for this. I am going to start off with just the brown liner. Let's see how... Okay, that looks really good. It's not as pigmented as his, but he just makes a liner with it. I kind of tried to sneak it in there behind the scenes. I started to notice even if I'm doing a black liner look, I always like to start off with a brown just so I can kind of... Okay, so I'm just going to apply this brown liner and smudge it out. <laughs> I've mapped my shape out. I like to take a tiny pencil brush and diffuse that color out and make the wings even sharper. And Cammy keeps twitching, so we keep laughing. <laughs> okay, okay, so his crease definitely looks a little bit more, um, it has a little bit more depth. So I'm gonna take this palette, it is the Spanglish palette, and I'm gonna be taking the shade Ja Ja Ja. And I'm going to put a tiny bit in my crease to warm it up because her crease definitely looks like warmed. This brush right here is from the Lavish Collection and it's their, their tapered blending brush. So I'm just taking a bit of that going into my <laughs> crease. Okay, so now he smoked out the liner a little and it's just ridiculous to me how he's like knows what to do and all of that okay with that brown and as you can see it makes a big difference i am not going underneath my eye and completes the eye and now taking my beloved mac semi sweet times nine eyeshadow palette i'm mixing a couple of the browns just to create a soft crease look okay so he does go in and create a soft crease look so i'm going to actually take my bronzer for that my powdered bronzer from morphe and it's in the shade phenom and it's like okay it's my Perfect bronzer shade. I should have been patient, but whatever. He kind of like warms it up more. Increasing. I'm darkening the crease with a brown and then diffusing the edges with a cream. This eyeshadow from the Too Faced. What? What? Okay, so I'm gonna darken the crease with a brown. This is my palette. It's the Pur festival palette and i'm taking the shade on set and i'm gonna darken the outer part with on set oh my god i definitely used too much whatever on set that kind of reminds me of somebody who was that you don't know who i am that's crazy so i'm gonna let you know never mind all right so next he one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time okay so he takes a shimmery shade okay i can do this the same palette has a shade called pure bliss and euphoric i'm gonna be mixing these two shades together to get some type of the champagne gold color as you guys can see it's a pretty nice color and i'm just gonna go right here with it the champagne shade called Luscious, and I love this. I use this all the time. I basically packed this palette in my kit just for that color. I mean, I love the palette as a whole, but this color looks like glass on the lids. Does it's it? Such a beautiful, pretty champagne. I know it sounds. Okay, so I'm gonna do underneath my eyes, you know, make it come together. So I'm gonna be taking Photo Op and Onset from the Brrr Cosmetics palette and i'm just gonna warm up the outer part because he did that before i just didn't do it okay oh my god her lashes are literally amazing i'm gonna be taking the laura giller mascara and this one is just the regular one <laughs> and this is in shade black and i'm gonna try and attempt to bring forth some of my lashes from the dead um, as you guys know, I have no lashes, but we're gonna act like I do, okay? To do a bit of an infomercial moment. I've been obsessed with using a fan brush for lower lashes. I feel like it gives a, a fan brush? Uh, feathery look. Because sometimes lower lash mascara can get too clumpy and crazy. Wow. I never thought of that, but I threw out all my fan brushes because you guys told me it was cheap. By you guys, I mean other beauty gurus. But anyways, we're going to do the rest of my lashes with the mascara because I don't have a fan brush. Bronzer, I'm taking the Ooh, bronzer. bronzer? 
I'm taking my Morphe Phenom bronzer and I'm gonna bronze up my face. I'm gonna go in with a Sephora brush and this is the 204 dual ended brush. I'm gonna take the contour side and I'm gonna use this shade and I'm gonna bronze up my cheekbones like he's doing. The Too Faced concealer where I bronzed everywhere. Okay, so this bronzer just elevated my entire life. So next, I'm going to be using the Ciate blush. And this one is Dusk. It looks pretty good. I think blush is very important. And I can tell a good formula from like a weird formula, which is, which is kind of tricky. <laughs> and I want to stick with the peachy tones, with the bronzes. So this is the perfect color. For highlighter, I'm taking the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. I haven't used this in... He's taking Champagne Pop. I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby Highlighter. I'm taking a, um, what's this called? Slimmest Glam Brush. This is the L36 Highlighting Brush. And I'm just going to highlight the parts that's already highlighted. Ages, but it's so stunning. I don't know why I haven't reached for them a lot, but they really are incredible highlighters. I mean, it is their standard product. For individual lashes, I always use Ardell Individual Lashes in Medium, always. For lip liner, I'm taking MAC Lip Pencil in Oak. I always use Ardell. Okay, I don't have individual lashes, guys, so I will not be applying any liner, lashes. MAC Lip Pencil in Oak. This okay. Is one of my it's such a beautiful neutral brown. It's okay, so he's taking a neutral brown lip liner, and I have one from NYX. Um, so it's the NYX Suede Lip Liner in the shade Lima. And I'm going to be going around my lips and lining them even though I don't need to. But it will bring the colors together. Right. It's not too orange. It's not too uh, brown. <laughs> It's a great contour for your lips if you're a medium skin tone. And I'm going to be trying the new Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. This is the Latex Love lipstick in Belle to Soir. And okay. It's stunning. I just kind of dotted. So he's doing the perfect nude and I have these two lip shades right here. This one right here is a Milani lipstick and it's in the shade Bahama Beige. And this one right here is a satin matte lipstick in Sex by Henry Los uh it's by Hank and Henry Las Vegas and it has shimmer in it. They're both perfect, so I'm gonna mix them. I'm going to top it with a little bit of my Fenty gloss because they aren't lip glosses and they're not giving me a glow. So I'm going to use a tiny bit. Ooh, okay, so that's good. And next he sets the brows. Stasia Brow Gel in clear. Okay, and then finally he sets the face. I'm going to use um, Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Don't judge me on the type I'm using, y'all. I'm gonna get my money's worth. That's final. Anything to say? Um, really quickly, I do want to say that um, my skin is pretty glowy. I never do my makeup like this, so it is really different for me. Um, this is a close-up. One thing I can definitely say about this makeup is very glowy. It doesn't look too matte. It does look really skin-like and smooth. Um, it's super simple. It's not too glam. I didn't wear any lashes, but I'm pretty sure lashes would make it look a little bit more glam. Um, I feel very natural whilst being cute and glam. Um, I do love how... He tied in the shimmers on the lid to bring in that inner glow type of look. Yeah, if I was a bride, all I would need is some lashes. 
and him to do my makeup. Look, if you guys enjoy it, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Please make sure to subscribe down below. And you guys can also let me know if there's any other videos, anything you want me to do on my channel. I definitely try and get around to it. Shout out to my subscriber for recommending this video. I definitely had a great time. You definitely know me. Girl, are you, are you living in my head to know that I would enjoy this? Let me know. Because you're rent free and I need a check. If you guys want to recommend a video, um, let me know down below. Also, I'm going to shout out that subscriber for doing this. Shout out to you. Guys, go check out whatever she has going on. I'm not sure if she has a YouTube, but guys, shout out to her. I completely appreciate your support. And it definitely shows that you have an interest in my channel. And I'm so happy about that. Thank you so much. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Until then... Keep it cute. Keep it cute. And keep that makeup on mute. Girl, that didn't even make sense. It's okay. I look good.